as well as a historic event, the Red Kite Stages also gives the modern crews a chance to sample some classic Welsh stages. And by the midway point today, it will be the lead for David Bogey and Kevin Ray, out to test their new Skoda R5 ahead of their British Championship assault. Julian Reynolds and Patrick Walsh make an appearance in the Ford Focus WRC, leading after the first two stages but sadly dropping down to second by now. And they would sit just above Rhys Yates and Tom Woodburn, the pair rounding out the podium after stepping up from fourth place in stage three. Roland Llewellyn and Jack Morton would be back out for some seat time in the new car, fourth place for now leading their class. An improvement for Jamie Jukes and Dave Williams over the morning as they jump a few places up the leaderboard to fifth place now in that Mitsubishi R5. Steve Simpson and Mark Glenister meanwhile were enjoying the gravel, with more outings in the Fiesta and things going okay now, sixth place. This weekend would see Sebastian Ling and Aled Rees make a rare UK outing. Not in the usual yellow car though, seventh place for now and second in Class 8. And for Wug Utting and Dan Neroda, it would sadly be a few places lost as they slip down from 5th place to 8th. Mark Gamble and Steve Link bring a Subaru out on this rally. They end the morning in 9th, despite almost throwing it away with a crash on stage 3. And rounding out the top 10 were Kevin Davies and Dale Bowen, leading Class 5 by a considerable margin by now too. Midway through the red kite stages then, and the results are looking like this so far. On to the second half of the rally then, and has changed through some of the top 10, with Adam Bustard and Aaron Johnston now rounding that out in 10th. Thomas and Yurig Davies moved their way up the results to take up 9th place in the Fiesta R5. No change though for Wurg Utting and Dan Niroda, unable to make back any places, but they also crucially don't lose any, ending the rally with 8th place on the leaderboard. No more drama for Mark Gamble and Steve Link, they climb a few positions to take 7th place this weekend. And no change for Steve Simpson and Mark Glenister, a steady run would see the pair end the rally with 6th place, a good run here in Wales. Sadly, it's a position dropped for Roland Llewellyn and Jack Morton down to fifth, but still taking the Class 8 victory. Jamie Jukes and Dave Williams meanwhile climb a place to move up to fourth, missing out on the podium places by just over 50 seconds. But it would be a podium that didn't really change by the end of the day, with Rhys Yates and Tom Woodburn taking third place at the end of the rally. And for Julian Reynolds and Patrick Walsh there would be no change either. They reach the end of the day with the runner-up slot. But that does mean it's a successful test for David Bogey and Kevin Ray, taking the lead early on and claiming victory here on that debut in the car. So at the end of an action-packed red kite stages, here's a reminder of the final results.